<clears throat> okay, so we here we're gonna be testing uh, Lionheart Industries um, LH9. This handgun is made in South uh, Korea. Um, I believe it was used under another name um, with their military. So this is a duty pistol. Um, I'm going to show you the fuel strip because it's kind of uh, all different. So all you do, like, like in 1911, you uh, put like uh, this opening right here, and then you line it up with the frame right there. Then you hold it like this. You need to remove the magazine, and then you push this pin that you see right here. Push it. There you go, and you remove your slide um, release. Let me get this out of the way. And then the firearm um, to continue. This is a non-captive recoil spring barrel um, to put it back together. Reversal, except you need to be a little more careful because um, when you're um, placing that this pin back together you need to align the barrel um, with the hole right here I'm going to show you right now so you put it back together just like this then let me see if I can do this and show you guys um, this corner right here with the frame you align it and then you take your barrel you need to take your barrel right right there and then your barrel you need to move it where you see that opening right there you place it right there then you grab your slide um, stop and place it and your firearm is back together now we're gonna weigh the handgun it weighs 1.9 pounds um, the handgun is um, compatible with 59 Smith & Wesson 59 series magazines um, the trigger is kind of weird I'm gonna show you right now so okay so you have a double action regular double action right here right and the firearm is clear we made sure of it you're pointing in the same direction right there that's double action once you rack the slide, you can either shoot single action. Here's the take up. Very nice trigger. Or you can go into a double action plus, I believe it's called, where you push your hammer forward. And then when you press the trigger, it will get back so lightly. Like, it's almost like single that's still single action um and then you just press it like let's do it again but you know stoppage that was so light it was almost like a single action but without that hammer being cut back so i guess it's a little safer you also have a, a safety right here um let's do some trigger pulls um the first one is going to be Double action. Let's see if you can see. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I grease my guns pretty good. So this is gonna be kind of difficult. Oh lord. Oh, I don't know if I got it or not. Um, but it's over 10 pounds, I think. I believe it's over over 10 pounds. Great. Oh, this broke. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it is so heavy, and I tried to pull it. It went over 10 pounds, and um, this came off of the um, trigger trigger uh, pull meter um, so I'm gonna do a single action pull 
because I just can't get this. The it's too slick. That trigger is too slick. Single action is around five pounds. Let's do it again. Around five pounds. And then let's do a double action plus so that you know that it's very light too. I don't really know. I, I don't know if I would trust it. Like. like to think it is a double action but you saw it right there five pounds so it pulls like a single action basically um so yeah i'm gonna be showing you some footage um from the range the gun shot pretty well it's pretty accurate i liked it um i'll be showing that pretty shortly here all right